The UK has three native snakes. We've got the grass snake, we've got the smooth snake, and then we've got the one and only venomous snake, the adder. They're generally only 60 to 80 centimeters long, so they're actually quite small. And to go along with that, they're also really quite shy. So 99% of the entirety of the UK will probably go about their lives never seeing one. They're distinctive though through their zigzag pattern that goes straight down their back, along with their piercing red eyes. You can find them in most areas around the UK, especially areas that have heath Woodlands, moorlands and open woodlands and they also seem to be more abundant in certain areas than in others and in one of those areas which is way more abundant than some of the others is Cornwall so that's where we're off to now Look at this, this is pretty cool. So this right here is a bunker from a long, long time ago. And I've managed to uh, convince this little idiot to get inside it. What's it like in there, mate? Uh, it's a bit flooded right now and a bit echoey, but um, it, well, from there, it's quite nice and cozy, you know? Yeah, new home is it? During the war, it's looking straight out towards the coast there. So I've been looking for probably, I don't know, enemies. Enemy planes, ships, anything coming over during the war. It's pretty cool actually, you see the grass on top, it would have been quite hidden, especially from a plane. Yeah. Like it was coming like straight over the channel there. It's pretty weird, it's pretty cool to see. There's also a bunch of old like war planes and stuff. All there is, yeah, uh, over in that direction, there's a load of uh, scrap planes and that. Oh, and we've got a little squad coming towards us. So this is a, it's a nice little start to this adventure. Yeah. Squad, scrap planes, history. All right, fellas, what are we doing? <laughs> There's a lot of them here. Flipping neck. Do you know what it is, yeah? Cows make me a little bit nervous. I think because there's loads of them and the size of them, do you know what I mean? They're massive. So I just get a bit like, oof. Like if they wanted to have a go, do you know what I mean? I'm in trouble. So after getting a close cow encounter, it was time to go out there and look for some danger noodles. We were searching in places that could offer a bit of cover, but also provide some sunlight to any potential basking reptiles. And while I'm searching for something, I've got to tell you that this video is sponsored by BetterHelp. BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy service and it's 100% online. With BetterHelp, you can tap into a network of over 25,000 licensed and experienced therapists who can help you with a whole range of different issues. To get started, it's really straightforward you head over to the BetterHelp website you fill in a few questions you set a few preferences and then BetterHelp matches you with a therapist that will suit your needs from there you can talk to your therapist however you feel comfortable that could be text that could be a live chat that could be a phone call or it could be a video chat whatever makes you feel comfortable you can message your therapist at any time and you can also schedule in live sessions at a time that's convenient to you and if for whatever reason your therapist isn't the right fit for you you can change your therapist at no extra cost. With BetterHelp you get the same professionalism and quality as you would expect from in-office therapy. Except with BetterHelp you get a therapist that is custom picked just for you. You also get more flexibility when it comes to scheduling and all of this at a more affordable price. Now if you'd like to take charge of your mental health you can head over to www.betterhelp.com forward slash wildlife with cookie to get yourself 10% off your first month. Okay we found ourselves in this other field now which looks a lot better for the adders. So we're gonna have a little scout of this area and see what we can see. But if you take a look, this looks like a prime habitat. And hopefully we can actually find you something. That'd be pretty cool. What I'm stepping into here is great for snakes. These sort of walkways are great places for them to hang out. They're protected from the wind in here and it provides them with good cover and sunlight so I'm making sure to be careful of where I'm standing so that I don't accidentally stand on one. Well then, I didn't find anything. Jay, did you find anything? Uh. Okay, no others so far.
So any flippable items we do find like this today, it will be getting flipped because there's a few things here that we could be seeing. Slow worms is one that'd be really cool. Could even see some grass snakes. And we've also got the chance of seeing the adders. Obviously we want the adders and they could be under stuff like this. Or if there's any corrugated sheets knocking about, have something like that. Any felt sheets, anything like that. That'd be really cool. So if we see it, we're flipping it. You ready? Yeah. Anything? Uh, a worm. A worm. Wow. Is it worth it? No. <laughs> On the drive over to this area, something really interesting happened actually. Now, we were just driving down the coastal roads, but in the middle of the road was a bit of roadkill. Now that's not the interesting part, it's actually pretty grim, but the roadkill in question was a polecat. And they're so elusive, so rare in this country, and that's actually the first one I've ever seen. Now, we didn't get any footage of it, just because it's a, it's a pretty grotesque looking squished animal in the middle of the road, but just wanted to let you know, I've seen a polecat in its squished form at the side of a road, which I don't know, like, just cool to know that they're down here, but at the same time, it was sad to see it dead, but yeah, it's just, I thought I'd let you know because it's really interesting. There are polecats around here. Anyway, back to the adder chase. We're in another field. Look, here you guys. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little fox cub right there. Just running across. We haven't got the right lens on. I'm going to try and get it on this camera here quick. Oh, that's amazing. So we've got a fox cub right here. Um, we must be near a den or something. I can't show you on the GoPro, but I got a probably a tiny bit of footage just then in the distance and obviously he's changed lens to uh film the plants and as that happens there's a little fox cub running about how annoying is that he had a little deliberation a minute ago and he was like what well, do i need this do, do I, I should just have the the macro lens on i didn't argue with him i probably should have <laughs> do you know it's so funny because you would have actually filmed that wouldn't you if you had the proper lens on yeah, I've been looking for like foxes and fox cubs for ages as well. So that was really cool. Um, I don't know, how do we approach this now, mate? What do we do? Should we should we walk down there very slowly to the side? Should stay we stay low, stay to the side, I guess. And just sit around and see if he comes back out, maybe. Yeah, because that'd be wicked. Obviously, we got a tiny bit of footage uh, for you there, but nowhere near as good as what it would be if we had the big lens on here. So we're hopeful, fingers crossed, if that can come out again, that'd be amazing. Like proper, proper cool looking, little baby fox. Well, I can't see anything. It didn't go down that way. It went into this side here. And uh, that's quite sick. And sadly, we didn't see the little fox again, but we carried on our trudge around the Lizard Peninsula and our morale was starting to get quite low. With it being perfect conditions for snakes, we were super confident of being able to see some, but hours had gone by and we hadn't had anything. So we decided to take a break, put a pin in the adder search for a moment and do something else. So we're heading off from this adderless adder place and we're gonna- The adderless adder place. Yeah, that's the one, that's the one. All oh, right, yeah, And yeah. we're gonna move on down now to Lizard Point, which you've said has got chuffs. Yeah, we should see chuffs. So you, I've seen them almost every time I've been there. All right, no, that's that's good. No pressure then if we, uh, I'd be really annoyed if we don't see one though. Same, especially on a nice day like this where we can get like good shots as yeah. well. Yeah. But there's usually a good few down there you'll see. Uh, so we've got chuffs? Seals. We've seals. Got a good chance of seeing some seals down there. What's what's the chance of seeing some marine life then? We got like dolphins and whales on that or? Uh I mean humpbacks have been spotted there. Yeah. There was back in February, I think it was. A humpback mother, whales, yeah. A mother and calf seen like fully jumping oh, out and everything. Snap. Right. And okay. It, um last the first time I ever went down there even, I saw a porpoise. Porpoise, sick, yeah. Uh, so th there's a chance of seeing stuff. Okay, so basically, we should see chuffs. We'll try and get some footage. We're going down to the beach, basically.
Jacob's made a friend again. Out here with the seagulls, isn't he? Jake, what seagull is that, mate? Is that just a seagull, is it? A herring gull? I don't know. I'm rubbish with gulls. If you know anything about gulls, drop a comment in. What is that? Because to me, anything that looks even remotely like that is a seagull. Anyway, we're here on a lizard point. Um, it's actually really quite stunning. Beautiful day for it as well. Down there, Jake has already spotted a seal. And seal what just flew one. over your head, mate? A couple of chuffs. A couple of chuffies. Just came flying straight over. Really cool looking, little carrot noses. This isn't one, this is a jackdaw. But they hang around with them, yeah? Every time I've seen them, they've been hanging around with them, yeah. Part of the same family and all that. You know how it is. Corbids. But now, mate, I'm not going to lie, this is a really nice looking part of the world, isn't it? Look at it. And most southern point in mainland Britain. Most southern point. Gorgeous, mate, gorgeous. Just down here in the water, we've actually got a seal bottling up and down. Now, I mentioned this before when we did the video about the great white shark and um, how seals, when they're in the water and like they're sleeping or they're resting or something, they literally just look straight up. It's one doing it right now, um, which is really cool for me to be able to show you that because a lot of people who are, let's say, unaware of what they're looking at in the ocean could look at that and think it's a fin of like a, a big shark or something like that. But it's cool to actually see this and be able to show you and prove it and all that sort of stuff. So Jacob's just getting in on the footage now and uh, hopefully it shows it quite well. Right, we've had a hard time looking for the chuffs. We had the two fly over our heads at the start that we didn't film, um, and nothing since. But something, something weird has just happened. So I just got chatting to a geezer with a camera, and I said, do you know any spaces to see adders around here? And he said, yeah. And he said the spot that we had just been to, and I was like, oh really, like, we couldn't find anything. Then he goes, <laughs> well, did you check the tins? And we were like, what? He's like, well, did you check the tins on the floor? I was like, what tins? So he's told us that there are these like corrugated metal sheets um, lying down and get this, next to the car park. So we were right next to it, apparently, these like metal tins and we didn't know they were there. Now, if you're unfamiliar, for reptiles, they flipping love metal tins because they obviously they get really really warm and they bask underneath them so what we're going to do when the little geek from down here is finished filming some seagulls and that i'm going to tell him and then we're going to head back to where we were looking for the adders and lift some tins and hopefully we will find some adders but that would be so frustrating like just sort of rocking up to that spot where it could have been like two minutes and done and we've just wandered around this place for hours and sort of nothing but oh uh, here you go look down here you might be able to see jacob he's down there he said it's a full mar something like that again it's a seagull to me do you want to know something really 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 funny what? you know where we were yeah did you see any metal sheets? No. I just spoke to someone who's walked past here. And they've said, there's metal sheets. What, back where we were? Yeah, for the adders. Oh. And we've missed them. Okay. Would, you, would you like to go and see them? I think we're going to have to make a trip back, aren't we? Yeah. Flipping heck, mate. This is off-roading. Linda's not built for this. This is not 
the road for Linda. <laughs> Jesus, look, look, it's like the moon, isn't it? Look at all the craters. We've got some tinnies to flip. Do you reckon we're going to see an adder right here, mate? I mean, it's sunny. We've been told there's a good chance. I think we might actually have like some luck on our side here. Some reptiles. Some reptiles, slow worms, lizards, just something. That would be good, wouldn't it? Slug. Oh, which one should I first? Then? Which one is? There's four, right? Do you want? Should which one do you want? One it's closest. Yeah, we'll go this one. Go on, Ed. Ready? Let me get my shadow out of the way. Moment of truth. We got another. We got a little baby adder. Oh wow! Can you hold that. Look at that right there. Oh, he's going. He's going. He's going. There's a little tiny adder. He's moving off into the into the, the shrubbery right next to it now. But that was good. Good flip. We got an adder. We, did, we got what we came here for. Did you film it? Yeah, it's a bit dark, but you know, you can... You can see it. it. You can see it. I think you might have got it on the GoPro as well. So that's good. We got one anyway. Actually, do you know what? That was really hard to see. Like he was really well camouflaged. He's though. really well camouflaged. Like surveying that little... That little bit then, and I was like... Nice to know that I got to go over to that one, it was a venomous snake right there. <laughs> like, it was... I lifted it up and I was like, oh, there's nothing there. And then right in the centre, he's right there. Sick! Okay, next one, here we go, number, number two. two. Anything? I can't see anything, can you? Mm, yes, yep, over on the left, there's another one. Can you hold it again? Yeah, of course. Wow, look at this! We've got another adder. Small ones, aren't they? Really small. Yeah, little babies. <sighs> Finding an adult would be sick. Like a big old adult. All right, two and two. Ready? Okay, here we go. Flip number three. Yep, yep. Yep, right at the back, cool. Three and three? Should we go do number four? Let's do it. Mate, it's an adder frenzy, this is. I was, do you know what? After that big long walk, I've seen absolutely nothing. I was like, right, this isn't gone to plan, is it? So, never mind. But here we are with the adders <laughs> next to the car park. You know, this video could have been done in about three minutes. It really could have. Flipping heck. Right, anyway, number four. Ready, flip number four coming in. There's slow, slow worm. worm. Oh, sick. Try. Oh, toad. So this right here is a slow worm. This is a legless lizard. Really, really cool looking thing. So small. Actually, this is probably rivaling the size of the adders we found, but a really cool little reptile we have in the UK. So there we have it. After spending a big portion of our day searching around the site for adders, we just needed to go two meters away from the car park to find some and find some we did. It's never boring seeing the UK's only venomous snake. And while these were quite on the small side, they are still beautiful all the same. Now you may have noticed in one of the clips that one little adder had a cloudy looking eye. Don't be alarmed by this. This happens when snakes are about to shed their skin. Basically what you're seeing there is a fluid buildup between the old skin and the new skin. And eventually that will allow the old skin to come off as it sheds. It was also really cool to see the slow worm and it was so gentle as we picked it up to have a closer look and then set it down again to get back on with its day. All in all, it was a great day on the Lizard Peninsula looking for the UK's only venomous snake and being rewarded with a whole host of cool and interesting things to see. This has been part one of four of my trip to Cornwall. Stay tuned for the next episode where we go snorkeling and rock pooling in search of sharks and Britain's rarest crab. And if you'd like to get in early, then consider joining the Patreon to get behind the scenes photos and video along with early access to videos amongst other things. For now though, I've been Cookie, I'll see you in the next one, take care.